How's it going, YouTube? It's me, Big Mike, and welcome to Big Mike's Reactions. It is still June 2023, that is Pride Month here, and I have featured quite a few eclectic and amazing artists of all sorts of ranges and styles. And I thought to myself, why the hell haven't I done Donna Summer on here yet? It only makes perfect sense. She is the queen of disco, after all. And so, I thought to myself... A lot of her songs are really, really long, such as Love to Love You, as well as I Feel Love. And then I said, I know a song that I really love, but I haven't seen the video to, and that is This Time I Know It's For Real. And it's from the 80s. What could go wrong? So, let's don the old earphones, and let us now enjoy Donna Summer as she performs her 1989 hit, This Time I Know It's For Real. Here we go. That's a fun little video. I uh, really like the whole concept of her basically going on a world tour with that Indiana Jones animated red line showing the locations across the globe. And I thought that was really neat, like rear projection work with all the swirling light streaks and everything. Kind of reminds me, I'm sorry to say this, and I don't mean any disrespect, it kind of reminds me of 
how they did that very, very famous vomit scene in Problem Child 2. I saw that movie not too long ago, and yeah, there's a part where a bunch of people get sick on a spinning ride, and it has a similar looking background, but they just sit a little, you know, uh, carnival car with people in it while they have, you know, phony projectile vomit. I know, forgive me, forgive me for comparing a vomit scene to a Donna Summer video. It ain't like that, it ain't like that, I promise you. I'm just saying how the streaking light rear projection stuff in the background reminded me of a similar effect that would get used two years later. But I digress, that's a crazy comparison. Don't, don't listen to me, you guys. But uh, what's also interesting to note is that last shot, right before we see the close-up of Donna Summer, that's taken from the album cover, because I've seen the album cover to this on uh, Apple Music, and that picture of her with that white face paint and that hat with that rose in the center, that's the, that's the album cover. So clearly this was done after the album was released, or maybe at the exact same time, to obviously sell the single. And I really like that little slightly, uh, you know homage to Footloose with the close-up of people's legs and feet and even boots doing dancing and you know a lot of the stuff is repeated backwards and forwards in this but that's okay but it seemed like they knew what they were doing when they made this because it looks like something that could be easily remixed and shown in clubs even going forward you know like I'm sure some gay club out there has taken this and put their own extended version of it or a twist on it and I'd like to comment on one other thing. I am really surprised that this song has never been used on RuPaul's Drag Race for lip sync. It's perfect for it. The rights can't cost that much. I mean, she was with Casablanca, so who knows? But no matter, definitely a pride-worthy song. Totally a pride-worthy artist, if there ever was one. We salute you, Miss Donna Summer. You really are one of the queens. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my first time reaction today to the music video, This Time I Know It's For Real by Donna Summer. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. And be sure to check back tomorrow for the next Pride Month 2023 music reaction. We're almost out of here, unfortunately. You guys take care, be well, happy Pride, and take it away, Donna.